launching to mixed reviews back in late October of 2020, the third game in the Watch Dogs series, Legion, travelled to London to create a dystopian future where drones roam the sky and we're all oppressed by our authoritarian overlords and... Wait, is this getting a bit too real? Anyway, while it has plenty of the trademark fun hacking and japes the series is known for, it also has some pretty heavy story elements that delve into the darkest parts of the underworld. We at NME.com liked it, but it wasn't without fault, with our review saying, The game feels more concerned with helping you collect characters with quirky skills than showing you how you can make a difference in a dystopian future. And that's about the size of it, and while it looked good, ran well, and was in fact a launch title for the Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5, it started life without multiplayer, which Ubisoft has announced will be launching on March 9th with a free update. In the multiplayer mode, you can play in a free roam open world with up to four friends, exploring London, completing challenges, or just playing around with the side missions. There are new missions specifically for co-op for two to four players, with one of the first four player ones called Leader of the Pack. This is made up of five interconnected narrative missions, say Ubisoft, which are endgame content made for people wanting a challenge. This co-op mode then seems like it'll have something for those just wanting a sort of Grand Theft Auto style open world to roam around with their friends, but also that endgame content for those after the harder stuff too. Elsewhere, a player versus player mode is included with a place called the Spiderbot Arena, which pits four players against one another with armed Spiderbots in a deathmatch mode, only a deathmatch with Spiderbots. Any online fun gets you XP that increases your rank and unlocks rewards so you can upgrade gadgets or recruit new agents, or just unlock cosmetics. If you are a season pass owner, you'll also get two new single player missions on the same date called Guardian Protocol and not in our name. So it really does seem there's something for everyone in this March 9th update. For more on all things Ubisoft and everything in the world of gaming, head to NME.com.